Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Corey, he don't need to do this, but he loves it and drives him. Get him, guys. I think when you do it with the passion, you're doing it for all the right reasons, and the rewards are just tremendous. Can you guess? Really? Can you guess? Goose, 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 duck, duck, duck. Goose, 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 duck, duck, duck. Are you playing duck, duck, goose? Do, do, do. Oh my gosh. This week, we're going to go waterfall hunting in case you couldn't figure that out. Oh my gosh. Anyways, you know what? We've hunted all kinds of things, and we really never went waterfall hunting. I mean, we were hunting deer. When I was growing up, I went my uncle's a little bit, but it's fun. I'm going to tell you, you to just break break up your, your, your you know your your heavy your your antler season you know what yeah. i mean you're going you go waterfowl hunting and you just and, and you know go my with favorite Corey. thing about waterfowl hunting seriously yes. is coffee like i can sit in the duck blind or a waterfowl and i can drink how coffee many and I actual can talk, thermoses and i can of do coffee. whatever else i want just like, like and, the, and all of a sudden the ducks show up or the you know the geese show up and all of a sudden it's like okay everyone get down you wait take them and then you shoot, and then you shoot and then she a duck coffee. or a goose, and then you pick up your, your coffee, and you're like, yeah, cheers. It's perfect. Hey, we've got a great show, though, with Corey Crib, All or Nothing. Take Let's em. get going. Just take them. Well, this morning we're down here in southeast Kansas. I've got Ralph and Vicki out uh, to our lodge and our camp. Um, we're just heading down to uh, our south country. We we like to do our deal out here in Kansas where we, we run about an hour in every direction from our lodge. So we always keep our birds, kind of keep the pressure off our birds and um, it kind of ensures that we're always staying in them. So this morning we're heading down to actually a loping pond. So we're gonna be there waiting for them. And uh, as soon as they get there, we're gonna pretty good film hopefully of some birds getting real nice and close and in your face it'll be great I'm gonna tell you this this is a lot of work and you know to, to sit there and see what they're doing their trailers full of decoys oh my full of these a-frame blinds full of marsh grass I mean just every, you name it and and to see it all transpire in minutes in that morning and even though it's a lot of work you don't mind it no. because you get back in that blind and you know, Vicky, she's got her coffee, she's got her donut, and she's like, oh yeah, I'm happy. You know, we all could be doing different things, working nine to five somewhere, but it's the passion that, that drives us to do what we do. Corey, he don't need to do this, but he loves it and drives him. I mean, this is what we do. I think when you do it with the passion, you're doing it for all the right reasons and the rewards are just tremendous. Corey has like these blinds that he's Yeah, had. these like A-frames that really were pretty cool. I mean, it was because we were in the middle of the weight. field, but yet we were still, well, we were on the edge of the water, but, yep. but there was not a whole bunch of terrain around us. So he put these up with all the extra brush on them and you would have never known that no. those were just put there. 
Get him, guys. We're having a blast. How was that one, Chad? Yes! <laughs> yes! We're done! Great. This boy follows the birds. That's, it's as simple as that. It, it, he goes everywhere from, from the States, uh, I mean Canada, Canada, Mexico. Mexico. That's right. That's right. That's he awesome. lives all or nothing. We met Corey a whole bunch oh, years of years ago, ago with his dad. When yep. you had the archery shop, when he had Archer's Choice in Berwyn, Illinois, and his dad brought him in with his brothers. Yep. And I mean, we got them all set up with their first bows. And, and I mean, what a, what great parents. Right then you could see that, you know, his, his parents were very concerned about them understanding and respecting the outdoors. Absolutely. And I mean, you can't, couldn't say enough about everybody. And, and I mean, to see now, Here's, here he grew up, and he's outfitting for his passion. So when Corey got a hold of us, we didn't put the one and one together that he's the same Corey Cribb that we taught how to shoot a bow, and sure enough, yeah, there he is. Yeah, and I mean, to see what he's done, and you see, it's really cool. So the life of a, like a full-time outdoorsman is kind of a dying, it's a dying breed, really, I think. It's just not, not many people are doing it anymore. But it's pretty cool because you get to be outdoors every single day. Um, you get to watch the sunrises every day, the sunsets, God's creation. It's just amazing to live the life that we want to, you know, I want to live. So it's, it's kind of cool, and I really hope that uh, more people could do this, would do this. It's just uh, it's a neat lifestyle. Great. Huh? Bam. When my captain says shoot, I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, three in front of us, three in front of us. They might just show up out of nowhere. Oh! oh. Jelly headed, baby! Hey, okay. yeah. How about one shot? See how that works? Here, here. One shot, here. one kill. <laughs> Nicely done. So, see, I can hit him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Thank you. man. Thank you for all that extra pressure y'all put on me. That was the luckiest shot ever. No way. No way. There was like, <laughs> man. there was nothing but perfection. Yeah. That, yeah, that okay. was nice. Oh. I have a jelly head in the mallard in a long time. She just lacks that yeah. part for squeezing the trigger. <laughs> no, I shot this morning. I just haven't killed anything this morning. <laughs> and then y'all get up really fast. If you could get them all to come in just like that, I'd appreciate it. We've been trying. <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo!
Vicky goes, I hear a goose, and all of a sudden they're shoo! Right over. Right over. <laughs> okay, stop. It's not a kazoo. It's not a kazoo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You know, one of the cool things was the lodge that he has in Kansas. In Kansas. Yep. And you know, I mean, wow, what, what, what the owner did, and he's collected he's, all that old ammo yeah. boxes, and there was browning, and, and I mean, it was... It's just like these old boxes of ammunition and everything. It was just a really cool place to it's stay. It's like a dang museum. It was. She's my friend, right? Come on, we got... That's right, see? How about No, let him hang, let him hang. Good job, <laughs> perfect. Good job, girl. With the Kansas fall waterfowl season in the books and excellent memories made, Ralph, Vicki, RJ, and the whole crew head back to All or Nothing with Corey Crib for the spring snow goose season. We left home, it was snowing like crazy. We're just about outside of St. Louis right now. It is 54 degrees outside. Woo, woo. We're actually gonna go and we're gonna get some rails put on our on our on our brownings. And then we're gonna go snow goose hunting. Corey's got everything set up and waiting for us, and that's where we're heading to. We're excited, we're gonna head down, we're gonna go snow goose hunting. And And you can take the plugs out. Yeah, for so this. It, it's unlimited season, we're thinking lots of freezer meat. We're ready for this. So on our way down, we stopped at Sure Cycle and we've got And them. these boys make the long chambers so you can like Load it up and ready to run and gun. Our, our, our browning. With our browning just, ammo, and I'm yeah. telling you, here's what we learned though. When you have like a bunch of shots, yeah, these shoulders start to feel it. And we couldn't have picked the worst time to go with weather. The weather was horrible. Hail, oh my gosh. sleeting, Cold. high winds. I mean, it was just, it wasn't a good. They, I mean, I'm sure the frogs liked it. Actually, it was too cold for frogs. The ducks yeah. might have liked it, but we didn't even see them. Well, we're set up. The wind is howling, which is good, though, because it's got all these wind socks out. They're blowing like crazy. The geese have got to start flying. We've got a really low ceiling this morning. It's been a little misting and fogging, but it's starting to clear up. We should be good to go. We've got boxes and boxes of our browning ammo ready to go. So, And they're really muddy already. Damn, let's get going. But Corey and all the guys got it set up. It's beautiful. We are in a flooded rice field here in pretty much southern Missouri. All or nothing adventures. Corey Griff, and I can tell you something, we hunted with them in Kansas. We've known the family for a long time, and they're great people. He does anything and everything to get everybody into action. And all it now, we need him to start flying. Take him. Kill him. I want to take credit for training him, but I mean, he's just a good dog. Oh, thank you. Good. Good boy. Good job. Oh, it's good. Yeah, good. No, never mind. Kill him! But I think we probably would have had more meat in the freezer had we actually hit some of the birds that we shot at. I'm just saying. It was that choking again. I, you know, it... <laughs> yeah, we choked. <laughs> we choked, we choked bad. bad. Fun. I don't care what you're doing, but I'm going to tell you is even though you're in horrible condition, <laughs> we're still hunting. We're still having fun. We're laughing. There's seriously mud everywhere. Yep. 
we're laying in mud. Lots of mud. Lots of mud. Like we are Deep covered mud. in Cold mud. Cold mud. Slimy mud. mud. Just a lot of mud. Yellow. Good boy. Good boy. Play him. Oh, yeah. yeah. See ya, baby. Boom. <laughs> you know, even though, again, it was miserable. It was miserable. It was awesome. Well, it's the last morning out. We're here again with Corey and the guys, and, and I mean, it's all or nothing, all adventures. Or nothing adventures. The guys got a pit here. We got the decoys, the wind's coming down from our right. So hopefully those birds are gonna swing around. Keep up. And we've already seen a bunch of geese yeah. taken up, so today should be a good day. One single, right here. Sure. There you go. Bingo, baby. Watch out. Got it. Going, He's going. going. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. What happened to him? He's on the ice. Oh, no. That ice ain't thick enough either. It is cold. <laughs> I know, he's kind of hesitant, like, am I going to fall in? Is he almost there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's, like, five feet. Really cold. Okay. He's got it. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Woo! My face is cold now. That Woo! was... So cool. That, that made my cool. trip. It yeah. was. It was just, that's what you want to see. That is. It's perfect. I love it. Now that the season is complete and the crew is back in Illinois, the bird processing has begun. With adult snow geese weighing an average of six to seven pounds, there will be plenty of goose roll ups to go around. Well, take them in, wash them down, and I'll go grab my vacuum sealer. Yep, I knew it. I knew it'd be me doing this. There is absolutely something about waterfowl hunting that just, when it when, well, once you start it, you can't finish and it. And you have good days and you have bad days. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like in the fall, we were hunting the and ducks. Poor and poor Corey, he wants it so bad. Every yeah. day, that, that that kid never sleeps. No, I mean, he he's, doesn't. He's out all the time finding Checking new where feeds, the feeds are. He's got his guys out, out there. Go. I mean, he's got it going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we went back and for, for the conservation season on the snow goose, on the yep. white goose. That weather just kicked our butt, and oh, it is what it gosh. is. And but you know we had a great time, and we've had a lot of goose roll ups since then. So oh, yes. yes, we have. That's that's actually the, the bottom my line. If you're part. looking for an incredible waterfowl hunt, and not he covers he covers it from south all the way up to Alberta. Yeah, he follows the migration. I mean, if you really want to experience it at the best you can. Corey Crib. Yep. All, All or Nothing, nothing adventures. adventures. For sure. Absolutely. Hey, we want to thanks for, thank you guys for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Next week. Aww. Wait a minute. Can you talk now? Aww.